Hi everybody, I'm back for part two of late 19th to early 20th century immigrants and the relationship it has to today's immigration issues concerning Muslims, um, some of whom are from Africa, some of whom are from the Middle East, some of whom are not Muslim, some of who are of the Eastern Orthodox churches. Anyway, to go back to our discussion <clears throat> about the treatment of Italian Americans, Jewish Americans, and Irish Americans, immigrants, um, all of them, uh, the Italians and Irish, which are, were uh, Catholics, the Jews were separate peeps, people in another story which would take too many tapes, but let's just leave it at they were rejected and spit on by everybody. Hardly no opportunities were left open for Jews. It was the same thing for Italians and the Irish. There were hardly any opportunities, so they opened up their own, they made their own opportunities in their communities, created local retails and um, uh, barbershops and shoemakers and bakers, etc., etc., um, real butchers that made, um, got fresh meats. And my grandmother and I would shop when I was a child and we'd go pick up the evening meal. We'd also go to the green grocer and the baker and if it, they had the money, if she had the money and it was a special night, we'd go to the sweets baker. So we created our own opportunity. Um, but it was difficult initially. They wanted the Italian-Americans to speak English. 